Eric Chianteau with the American record of 207.42. We will see him in this race swimming in lane number five. Now we'll talk about Chanteau in just a moment, but in lane number six next to Chanteau will be quite a story. Brendan Hansen, who has four Olympic medals, coming out of retirement, trying to qualify for the London Games in his first meet since Beijing in 2008. Decided to return to swimming back in December. In the interim, during the layoff, he's been doing triathlons, wanted a different perspective. Also wanted to use it to keep in shape. He's lost 15 pounds, so he really likes where he is. But still, having been out of the pool that long, it's a long way to try and make it to where he wants to be, and that is in London one year from now. So let's take you lane by lane. Scott Welts of the University of California, Davis, the nearby San Jose native, is in lane number one. The Brazilian is next to him, Tiago Pereira, the 25-year-old, lane number two. Won this event at the Pan Ams back in 2007. Eric Friedland, just 20 years of age, the Longhorn from the University of Texas, lane number three. Scott Dickens in lane four, the Canadian, fifth at the Pan Pax a year ago in Irvine. Eric Chanteau, lane number five, a winner in Austin and Charlotte on the Grand Prix circuit. And a newlywed, got married in Southern California a little less than a month ago. Brendan Hansen. In his comeback, gets the ovation. He'll be in lane six, next to Clark Burkle, who's in lane number seven out of Louisville, Kentucky. In lane number seven, A2 Carbonin. The 24-year-old Finn is in lane number eight. And Chase Kalish, out of Michael Phelps North Baltimore Aquatic Club, the 17-year-old rounds out the field in lane number nine. Eric Chanteau, having just gotten married, and well, it's been quite a three-year stretch for him. Yeah, no question. He has had uh, an amazing roller coaster of an emotional career, Steve. Cancer diagnosed with Bob testicular Peter, cancer in 08. Beat Satin had a tremendous year in 09. Won the silver medal at the World American Championships in 09. Just mini missing the gold by one one hundredth of a second in one of the closest races in World Championship history. I'm talking about Chanteau right there, the top qualifier. And then in 10, he comes back and his father dies. And then 11, he gets married this year, so he's really had this roller coaster ride. He's swimming very well. He's moved out to Southern California now. He was with Longhorn for many, many years, swimming for Dave Salo now in that humongous breaststroke crew with Sony and Hardy. So many wonderful breaststroke crews. And then at the top of it all, Kiyajima from Japan, perhaps the greatest breaststroker in history. Scott Dickens had a lead at the turn. Chanteau was second. Diago Pereira in lane number two was third. Pereira now inching forward as they reach the midway point of the race. For Chanteau, not only a roller coaster of emotions, but in a sport that requires such laser-like focus to be able to ride that pendulum and still come back, dial things in one year ahead of the Olympic Games. It takes a lot of discipline and commitment. And I like the way Brendan Hansen's looking, Steve. He's looking very solid right now. Remember, this guy never got out of shape. He was doing triathlons, as you said. He was in tremendous shape. I had a long talk with him at the Austin Grand Prix earlier this year. And, you know, he really wanted to keep things quiet. He didn't want to get Final it out there that he was coming back quite yet. Really so I kind of kept quiet and tried to anyway. And, uh, but he, he just looks Brendan so Hansen. fit. I think what he needs to do the next year or so, yeah, he needs to work and work hard, but he just needs to fine tune things. Trust me, this guy's going to be a huge factor a year from now at the Olympic trials. Look at him. He's actually closing a little bit on Chanteau. There's He's Chanteau right there with him. There's Hanson right up there. The and then right above him is Chanteau. They're going step for step holder. right here to the finish. Coming down towards the wall, Chanteau followed by Hanson. But Chanteau, it looks like, is going to have just enough to hold him off and get the win. Eric Chanteau at a time of 2.13.52, followed by Brendan Hanson and Scott Dickens in lane four, who rounds out the top three swimmers. Solid for Chanteau, but I think spectacular 
for Brendan Hansen. 214 right now. I mean, the, the uh, up and down on that was 215 flat. A lot of people picked him to go above 15. Look at that, 214.5 for Brendan Hansen. And he was, what was impressive about that was he was staying right with Chanteau at the end. And Chanteau might have the best closing speed of any breaststroker in the world this side of Rebecca Sony. So a really good solid swim for Chanteau as he gets ready to swim this event in Shanghai. He's, in fact, Shang, uh, Chanteau is will only swim this event in Shanghai. He did not make the 100 breast. Now, Brendan Hansen is not going to the Worlds, obviously, just coming back. But this is the 100 meter halfway point, and Hansen never really left him out of sight, never got him out of sight. He stayed with him. Of course, he got up against that lane line and caught a nice little draft, but I'm very impressed with the way Brendan's come back. Yeah, it was a half body length at the end at the finish, but still, Good solid swim, and he's riding that lane line all the way. He's a smart swimmer, and so is Chanteau. Chanteau, the 27-year-old Georgia native, gets the victory, and now he joins us here in Santa Clara. Hey, Eric, congratulations. This is Rowdy. I, I, I know you've been working a little bit on your early speed and to try to take control early. Is that something that you've tried to do on purpose? Yeah, absolutely. You know, it's always been uh, a challenge for me to get out early in a race, so that's really what I've been working on a lot in the past five months and uh, it seems to be coming along. You know, my, my hundred has gotten uh, much better in season and uh, I'm just trying to get out there on the first half of the 200. And do you think it will help you now to just to be able to concentrate on that 200 instead of also the hundred as you get go to Shanghai? Um, you know, not really. I, I really wish I was doing the hundred in Shanghai. Uh, I always do better the more I race, but um, you know, that's just the way things fall and uh, I'll, I'll just concentrate on the 200, which I know will be great. How's that married life treating you, my brother? It's going great, man. It's, uh, <laughs> it's, it's great. Well, congratulations on that. Way to go. Good swim here. All right, thanks. So Eric Chanteau leads his fellow American Brendan Hansen in the top two. Scott Dickens, the Canadian in third, and the women's 400 free is coming up next.